spring day to you today. Even though it doesn't really look like it or feel like it, it is in fact the first day of spring. So last night I gave my Toastmasters icebreaker speech, which is the very first speech you give when you join Toastmasters. And I'll link it here because I posted it, uh, yes, uh, this morning and it went well, I think. Uh, I was nervous and I did forget a, a few parts and had to think about what I wanted to say. But what I really like about Toastmasters is that the goal is to become a public, a good public speaker, right? You're not, you don't start off. If you start off um, acing the speech, then really, like, what's the point of being there? Oh, I knew I wasn't going to be perfect. I, but I did prepare well and I felt, I felt ready to go. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying, what I like about Toastmasters is they give you feedback so that you can work on for your next piece. So some good feedback was to not write out sentences, to kind of have things blocked out, like have little blocks of sections to talk about, which makes sense because I did, I did stutter on my words when I was trying to think back of what I had written down. So um, I'm going to look more into that technique on how to write a speech when I do another one, but it, it, it was good. It was good to get out of my comfort zone. Um, I never thought in a million years that I would voluntarily take like, a public speaking class, voluntarily stand up in front of people and talk, do this in my spare time, <laughs> you know, actually pay to be a member of this, actually to pay, yeah, pay to public speak. Um, not get paid to public speak yet, but uh, actually pay someone to help me or pay an organization to help me with public speaking. So anyways, it was really good. It was a good step out of my comfort zone and, uh, you know, it made me realize that I, I am growing. Like progress may be slow or like, sometimes you don't even see any progress at all, even though you're doing a lot, but it is nice to see some progress happening and I am starting to see some improvements in my life and I just want to keep going with that but if you don't if you are uncomfortable speaking to people like I'm uncomfortable there's a lot of ice here I'm uncomfortable speaking to people sometimes like one-on-one -on -one, let alone putting on a presentation or a speech so if and Toastmasters can help with that so if you want to work on your just interacting with people skills Toastmasters is a good is a good spot for you so you should just google Toastmasters and see where your local club is it's on Facebook it's on like I said Google and check it out um, you do have to pay a fee but you don't have to do it right away you can go to a few meetings and see if you like it before you shell out any money um, I pretty much knew I was going to join because you as you probably know, I read and listen to a lot of personal development books and almost all of them, if they say you're having trouble public speaking or you're not comfortable talking to people in front of a, like in front of an audience or in a meeting or whatever, to take, to join Toastmasters and work on your skills because successful people know how to speak with people without, you know, I always get flustered or I stutter or I go beat red. So I like to, um, I would like to be better at speaking without all of those things. So, um, I would like to improve. I guess that's the word I was looking for. I'd like to improve and I want to be better thinking on the spot. Like, you know, that's having a conversation with someone one-on-one -on -one does require, you know, spontaneous thought. And I would like to be able to have a, you know, a good meaningful conversation um, without dumb but we shall see anyways try looking up if we're having trouble speaking in front of people Toastmasters I had never heard of it until I started um, reading personal development like, what the heck is Toastmasters and then it even took a long time for me to have enough guts to go to a meeting let alone sign up for it so if you're like just on the edge it's okay I was there uh, do it when you're ready and you won't regret it because you won't. And it's fun people and it's a supportive environment and they want you to succeed and you want to succeed and you want others to succeed as well. So anyways, that was my Toastmasters little wrap up. Really awesome. It's a fun speech 
and I'm glad I did it and looking forward to the next one. So thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.